here. Um, it's not easy at all. Business doesn't just fly in. It's a lot of learning. It's a lot of late nights. It can be taxing on family time. It can be taxing on relationships. Um, the divorce rate is high, but it's a great, it's great. I mean, when I started this, it was so that I could work, you know, from home and be at home with the kids that quickly evolved for me. And now, you know, I have an office and I'm, my time is not like I can just do whatever I want. I am in the office a lot. So you can work as much as you want or as little as you want. When can I do it? You have to be 55 to do a reverse mortgage. 5.84. We have cheaper rates than that. LG appliances are horrible. I have them here when we bought. I just... Actually, I think my stove is LG. My fridge is Bosch or whatever the heck it's called. And I love that. It's like my favorite thing in the entire house. But my dishwasher and my stove are both LG. I like my stove. My dishwasher, I bought the cheapest one because I didn't think I was going to use it. B lenders are charging 1% fee. Is that legit? It is legit, depending on the term. If you take a longer term B lender, sometimes there's no fee. What gifts do clients get you for settling their loans? Um, I don't always get gifts and I, not that I would ever expect it. What have I gotten? Um, chocolate, champagne. I have one client that gives me their cottage every single year for a week in the summer. Do not use credit karma. Do not. Credit karma it's guaranteed. I have never had a client call me with a credit karma score and said, Hey, my score is 700. And I've never pulled their credit bureau and been like, yeah, your score is 700. It's generally almost a hundred points off. Don't use credit karma. If you want to use one of the other ones, borrow well reports pretty accurately. Um, they get their information direct from Equifax where credit karma goes to TransUnion, which is not updated as much. So do not use credit karma. It is not true. It is not accurate. Um, if you want to use something like that, use borrow well. That being said, why not just go direct to the source, Equifax, and do it for free there? Can someone that is getting CPP and OAS get a reverse mortgage? Yes. Do I recommend adding property taxes to your mortgage? No, I do not. Eve, yes. can you get me your charger, please? So use mine because it's shorter cord, but I need the longer cord for here. Um, no, the reason I do not suggest paying your property taxes with your mortgage is because one, your lender has to accumulate more into an account generally. So you're technically paying more than what you need to pay them monthly Two, the amount of times the, I can't even count the amount of times that clients have called and said, I just got a notice in the mail that my property taxes are in arrears that they were not paid. Your lenders, your banks are paying hundreds of thousands of people's property taxes. If you don't think that they're going to miss some, they sure as heck are. If you think that those lenders are going to pay the penalties that you're going to receive for that, they're not. Um, my biggest suggestion is, sorry, I'm just plugging in my cord. Um, even I personally do that. My town, I don't think all towns do it, but I've had a lot of luck with a lot is setting up the pre-authorized payments monthly. So I have my property taxes. Oh my God. My property taxes come out of my account January to October. So over 10 months. So I cut out the middleman because the town is taking them out of my account monthly. I have payments from January to October. And then in November and December, I have zero property tax payments. There's no middleman. I'm not paying more than I need to. They literally take my more, or my property tax amount Divide it by 10, take it out of my account on the 15th of every month. What are you doing? At my pots and pans? No. Yeah, kind of. Do you want your pots and pans? Can I make a hot dog? Y yeah, why don't you just do it in the microwave? Would a broker be cheaper than a bank for a mortgage rate? More than likely. All the time? No, because there is times where I've told, I've told a few clients recently, stick it out with your, your bank right now. Um, but more times often than not, yes, we can do better.
Property taxes get reassessed every year. So what to do when that changes? So I get a letter from my township every single year. Here's your new payment. I thought you had to attach mortgages, your taxes. No, you don't. There is some lenders, like on the B side, they want your your property taxes paid. They're sure. But if you have the choice to pay your own, majority of our A lenders, some of our A lenders, our prime lenders, have stopped paying people's property taxes. They don't even offer it anymore because it's probably a big pain in the ass. Um, but if you have the choice, which you should. Now, if you go to your bank, more times often than not, when you are approved, your your bank will sit down in front of you and they will give you your, your approval. And your approval will be based upon having your mortgage payment, your property tax payments, plus life and disability insurance in your total payment. And that will be the first payment that you see. The reason they do this is because one, they're selling you on life and disability. Two, um, they're putting your prop they're taking your property taxes. And if you think that they're not sitting all of that money into accounts and making interest on it, um, but the reason they do that is so that when you sit down and you look at that payment, you're like, oh, I can totally afford that payment. Then when it comes time to apply for life and disability insurance and stuff, they'll say, oh, that this, you should, you should take this because it was already included in that payment. You've already mentally accepted that payment. I'm in Ontario. Is a broker fee of 4.99 too high? That's, that's, yep. Yep, it is. 